Hello, Ooh, we've got a bit of sunshine this morning. I'm awake very early because I slept all day yesterday. That's a healing thing, I think. I was still and quiet all day. Well, until 12, 12 o'clock. So I had no sleep last night. I'm thinking, I don't want to, I can't think of anything else to do. So I'm in and out of bed, eating this and drinking this. I thought I have to get up, do something. I come mad. <laughs> my flowers, you like my flowers? I actually sent for them and they came. They weren't very good the first time. Marks and Spencers, I rang them up. I said, they're not very good, they're half bad. Oh, we'll give you a refund and a new bunch of flowers. So I've got two lots. <laughs> Quite an achievement. And honestly, today I feel very old because, well, I am. I am. <laughs> oh dear, but after watching a film the other day at Clint Eastwood, I thought, God, he's looking old. And he is. Do you know he's 91 and he was what was the film called now it was a very good film actually about him doing a drug run and uh he i thought he was shuffling along a little bit and then of course i looked him up on the internet he's 91 and then robert redford has recently died apparently just after making that film lost which is brilliant and he was late 80s i think so i think well i'm doing pretty well really <laughs> I don't look quite as wrinkled as I could because I've taken HRT, which I shouldn't do at my age, but at keeping the wrinkles at bay a little bit, and I'm still alive. But um, when I see some of these old actors, oh, Mark, Mark Parkinson, he's on the front of the Radio Times. He looks, well, he, he is, he's 80 something. And uh, I suddenly feel, well, I'm, you, you've got to accept that's it. That's, you know, flowers die, people die, you get old and wither up. <laughs> So, um, I'm talking today, I don't know why I'm doing it, I'm half asleep probably, <laughs> talking today about my discovery, it's kind of a follow on from a previous video when I talked about my indecisions and dichotomies about manifesting, which everyone thinks is very easy, there's books on it, there's this, there's that, and it's supposed to be very easy. I can manifest actually, I can manifest things, but I can't see to manifest money to pay for them. <laughs> Which does get me into trouble. So I think, oh, well I'll have that, you know, I can, I, I'll have that, I can manifest. And then the money doesn't come. So this is my difficulty and I've been a long time at this. So I want to share with you my eureka moment of discovering and actually healing it. Well, it was, I, I, I said a few days ago, obviously the full moon had a lot to do with it, a lot of energy about, so I think that, that helped me. And I have been asking for guidance on it. And I suddenly realised, I don't know when it came or how it came, I thought, it's a subconscious. The subconscious is ruling me, not my conscious. And that's quite a profound thought really, isn't it? Well, it is for me, because I've... I'm not that sort of person to really look into my subconscious, but I bought this book called Theta Healing. Now we've got five lots of brain waves. The four basic ones that I know about are Alpha, Beta, Theta, Delta. Delta is a very deep one, almost unconscious. The Theta waves, it seems, not from this book, but I bought this. And when I be began to read it, I thought, I've done all of that. <laughs> Still doing it. It's a very good book though. It is a very good book. And obviously I've been a bit arrogant, <laughs> as I can be. Um, but the theta waves are the ones where your subconscious has got all the programming, as I understand it. Look it up on the internet. It's a fascinating subject and it is a big subject. I did hypnotherapy, you know. I'm a qualified hypnotherapist and I'm pretty good at it. I should be making some money at these things, but I don't I have a lot of the energy. And besides, people in this country don't pay for healing. They don't pay for it. They get national health, you see. Anyway, to get back to the theta waves, I discovered, I thought, well, no wonder I'm not manifesting or getting what I want or whatever, because the belief system's in the way. It was something to do with relationships that triggered me off. I thought, why are this loneliness? Why am I... Why can't I heal this loneliness? It must be, it must be a belief pattern. It must be a belief system. My mother was lonely, and it probably is a family thing. I don't know, but that was the thing that I began to get 
that it's time to stop it's time to get rid of do you know what i mean time to get rid of this time to stop it so i had to sort of explore a bit more deeply and i think i was probably in one of my dream states traveling i was going down some stairs so i think that was delving into the deeper levels i don't know but anyway this came to me as kind of a one of these eureka moments that we get you know your oh, gosh that's it then you know and it did come to me that Oh, that's right. I was reading my astrology books. I got, um, as you know, I like astrology, and it's something in there that says, yeah, I programmed some, uh, perhaps in a previous life, I don't know, to be alone in order to learn how to get in touch with myself. I've been too dependent on other people, I think, in the past. And of course, I've had lifetimes in convents and whatever, you know, so I've had a lot of experiences of being alone. It doesn't worry me too much, but I know I'm beginning now to think it's time to change that. And this is what came to me. There's a program in somewhere deep in me, in my theatre waves, <laughs> that I don't have to have company. It, it isn't as simple as that, but this is what came to me. I could change that. So I thought, well, you can change it because that's an old, an old pattern, the sort of third dimension, if you like, third, fourth even. But now I'm into the fifth dimension, those patterns won't fit. I mean, the subconscious is doing a very good job. It, it, I, I, the subconscious looks after us very well and I think it also the program in there about being awake I've had so many dreadful experiences in my bed not this one, other beds <laughs> which I won't go into and I think my subconscious is saying don't go to sleep look after yourself and stay awake do you see what I mean? and it's, 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 it's not actually black and white it's not words per se it's images and it's it's very vague, but it gets the message across to the conscious mind what you have to do or not do to protect yourself. So this isolation and loneliness was for a purpose many lifetimes ago, and it's carried forward, and it's inappropriate. It's inappropriate now, because in the new dimension, <laughs> new belief systems are, are a lot different. They are much freer and, well, as you know, we don't go into all that, but the, the new belief, we have to create, we have to create new belief systems to match the dimension. Gosh, it's happening again. I'm watching myself speak. It's very odd. I must be in my own self or something. Very peculiar. I have got to know if anybody else has had that. Anyway, um, this is why I keep dipping in and out. I can't I'm probably going down there into Delta, oh, for beta waves as well. I've got three or four dimensions going on. Oh dear, it's exhausting. I don't need to go back to bed a bit. I thought that's why I do this. I think it's psychic energy I've got too much of. So by doing this, I'm releasing some of it. So forgive me if it's a bit of a muddle. So basically, we've got the four brain waves. They're actually the, the five is gamma rays. Well, the four brain waves and the third theta is the one. This this lady works with the theta to change the old belief systems because you've got to know what the new one wants to be as well but I've, it was such a strong moment I thought I've got it at last this is like the answer to all my probings and delvings and many years of it really that this belief system is so strong I mean the subconscious is a very powerful tool as we know it protects us on many levels but it's got to the stage now from for many of us in a new dimension that the fourth third fourth dimension or even previous to that belief systems just aren't appropriate anymore they won't work but it's the subconscious is hanging in there because it thinks it's looking after us you know it, everything it does is for our best really and and, and and we have to let go of that and say look hang on <laughs> nothing can happen to my in my, um, my bed tonight i can sleep safely sort of thing doors are locked windows locked and i can have company on my terms so what do you think if this is a muddle, well, I hope it isn't a muddle. I've probably done it twice. I knew it would be difficult today because I've not had much sleep. But And I thought, I've got a party song because I, th I don't think, well, not everyone would understand it. I found it very hard initially to understand what was going on. But then this came, this book, funny if I bought the book, 
<laughs> just out before, before I, that's right, before I got the answer. And I was reading bits of it and I thought, God, I'm already doing that. So that was kind of a trigger spot, I guess. So here we are, new belief systems, watch this space. <laughs> Anyway, I've got to go now. I'm a bit tired. I'm going back. I've been eating all night. You know, I, when you're awake, you have to keep eating biscuits and drinking tea. And of course, I'm getting fat all the time. I'm not as old as Clint Eastwood. Gosh, he looks up. But isn't it brave to do a film at that age? I mean, you remember the words and everything. You know, it's, it's hope for old age, isn't it? <laughs> okay, dear ones, take care now. God bless. Bye bye.